everyone welcome to Shifty's Club today oh excuse me I'm gonna talk about something interesting with a video game um well pretty cool actually um you guys have probably adore the lost the um the well basically hidden abilities in the other world dream world so and I've heard by far that Politoed is was the most popular Pokemon at regionals. Didn't go, but I heard that it was the most popular Pokemon. Now, I heard that with the Dream World one, which I know what you're talking about, where it's just uh, another Kyogre ability, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and I gotta say, that is gonna be one of the coolest ideas ever. Um, I mean, of course everyone would think about it I mean because after all it's a dream world and people look for these hidden abilities and try to run off combos you know that kind of sort of thing but as we get deeper into the metagame we can guarantee to find some um, some some little tiny hole or a glitch that you can just crawl right through Politoed however trained right can be a lethal weapon, but I gotta say, Politoed has absolutely no advantages whatsoever. If you play it out right, Politoed couldn't couldn't beat you ever. Um, I've actually played against this um, a few times on my DS uh, hook, and I get it to the internet and. Um, or the Wi-Fi wi thing and play a few battles and end up beating every party with Politoed and I'm not going to see how I do it because then I'd be giving away my party but um mine is basically in my opinion the best and I'm not willing to release that information but I will say don't ever depend on set strategy to beat Politoed Set strategy is nothing in competing against Politoed. So, if you think you got to have strategy for it, you don't. Because if you do, they've got some other way out. They've got, like, Swift Swim or something to just demolish you along with Politoed's ability. And, in my opinion, it's better to have something like Tyrant. If you see Politoed, why do I always open my big mouth? Anyway, um, the, um, there are plenty, let me just say this way, there are plenty of ways of dealing with Politoed, and they could include, um, well, I really don't want to say, but, um, but, if I were you, to beat this thing, I'd probably just use Magnezone. Seeing how there's absolutely no way that a Politoed's going to be able to one hit shot a Magnezone ever. Because, in all honest truth, its defense, special defense is usually too high, and weakness never really covers it. And plus, you don't have a 4x weakness that Politoed can cover efficiently. Since Polito can't learn Earth's power, so and have a high special attack, so really you're not looking at too much to deal with. Um, now I will say, um, using something such as a uh, Kingdra to pair up with it is pretty good, but overall Polito can be deal uh, dealt with. But most people just didn't know how to do it at regionals. But this coming regionals. People know how to deal with it because they'll be testing and testing and testing and testing and testing it over and 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 over. So, and did I say over? Um, so, that's basically how to deal with Polytoad. Test it. Test against it. And basically study it. And in return, you will see how good Polytoad can really be. Now, I will say this once and only once. Politoed is not unbeatable. So there you go. You have 
plenty of opportunity room and it's usually better for people to figure out themselves how they want to beat Politone because that usually makes you better of a trainer. Now as far as a trading card game goes, it's better to get the cards and test. That's all there is to it. But to figure out how to beat Politoed is better for the video game player since they don't really have to pay money for their resources. And they can just race the Pokemon themselves. And however they like to raise those Pokemon is up to them. Now, number two. Let's say, uh, well I hate to say this, but Tornadus, Thunderous, either, either one of them was the next most popular one by far. And it's Prankster, allows it to go first, Thunder Wave, hit Politoed. There's number two. That's not mine. That was not mine, by far. But since Prankster gives you the um, uh, first move with um, stats conditions like uh, Paralysis, it'll either hit on Politoed or hit something else. But most of the time, both Thunders and Tornadoes will try to pull something like this and then try to wind you in and I actually like this theory um the best thing to do when going up against either one of these is to well I don't want to give it away but basically the best thing to do against these Pokemon is to Emphasize Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet is the best counter you can have for Tornadus Thunderous period. And the reason why I say this is because counter and mirror code are too easy to decide from. Of course you know whether or not they're either going to be a special attack or attack. I mean it's too obvious. I mean think about it. Special attack is really the only thing Thunders has got, and Tornadoes could go either way. So, so I would just automatically use Mirror Coat. If someone attacked, good. If they didn't. That's fine because their special attack is usually higher for either one of them. So, either way you want to go on that, and thought I'd just point that out. And let me get to a few um, rogue concepts for um, the video game. By far, what I've been what I've been testing with and what I've been seeing is that uh, there's a really good there's three really good Pokemon and some pretty good tactics to use to counter some good metagame stuff. One is Blissey, which almost no one uses now, and the best reason why is because with a tank HP and plenty of training and defense, plus the with EVs, IVs, and everything in defense. Being able to get all that really helps Blissey defend against anything, and plus getting the exact same treatment and special attack along with the HP and special defense really helps. And um, trust me, you don't need Trick Room, but if you want, go right ahead. The um, next Pokemon by far is a Selgore. A Selgore is the fastest Pokemon in the of the Unova region. And the second fastest Pokemon we have that's tournament legal, the fastest being Ninjask. Now, I will say a Selgore with its high special attack does have a few pretty good special attack moves that you can have uh, high EVs and IVs and have a helpful nature to try to beat. And I say that one with a perfect speed and special, and almost perfect special attack would almost certainly be a very hard Pokemon to deal with. Um, seeing how your opponent's never going to open with Tentacruel and Man, Tentacruel or Mantine or Jellicent, and then followed up by some like really popped up Nine Tails. You know what I mean? It's just not going to happen. And. That's where I uh, really think uh, it goes in the tank because when a cell, when the cell is going up in battle, chances are the Pokemon it's going up against either has a high special defense or high attack. If it has high special defense, it'll almost never have a high defense. If it does, then well, Sogre's got the speed matchup on it. You might as well uh, use a few tactics and get around it. 
third is one that almost no one, almost no one uses anymore. And I ain't saying it, but it's Marowak. Take one good look and laugh. That's fine, by far. Why don't you go on the Heart Gold Soul Silver, either version. Go catch you, you go catch you a Cubone or Marowak in the cave. And send it over to black or white. Uh, breed it to where it'll have perfect EVs, a good IV count. Sorry, there's the computer. Or either or combination. And what I'll give you to do is tell me while it's holding a thick club or bone, or bone club or whatever. I think it's a thick club now. While it's holding that item, tell me how powerful its attack is. If you couldn't tell me how powerful its attack is, then you really don't know what you're thinking about in Pokemon. Because every single trainer knows that every Pokemon is just as good as the next. You just got to figure out how to use it right. Marowak has a potential attack higher than Deoxys with the highest attack. Have a possible combination of outlet level 100 with 564 base attack power with that thick club. And I'm going to tell you right now, when that thick club, Marowak will destroy, destroy a format with almost nothing. And this is with its attack all the way up with perfect EVs and IVs and everything. That's why most most people are going to try to breed these Pokemon up and out of Hargold's Silver and make their way so they can get through I like that concept. It's really good, and I like it. I've tried Marowak, and I think I'm the only person that has figured out how to pull this off. And there have been there was pe person after person after person asking me, "How did I do it?" And it is not illegal. I got it to happen. Marowak would sing. Seems impossible, but. If you know what I know from Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, Marowak can learn Sing. Now, here's the tricky part. What you need to do is to get that Marowak get down all the way to its shadow so you can send it to your Game Boy game and then throw it to a DS game and then throw it to black and white. Now, the crazy part about this is that you need to give some really cool moves and give Marowak a decent position partner, let it hold some items, and give it a chase to shine. That's it. And I'll give you two tactics right quick and it won't take long at all. First tactic is obviously uh, Trick Room with, uh, sorry, Trick Room with, um, Trick Room with a po Pokemon next to you with Curse, and then you're going to use Follow Me, and then they're going to use Baton Pass. Send up a better Pokemon. Alright, the second and last one is going to be the, the automatic, uh, well not automatic, but you'll use Rain Dance with a Pokemon that absolutely would not otherwise learn it, and then Thunder right off the bat. Thunder some KO. Seems seems good, and it really is. But my Pokemon to choose for it would definitely be, uh, let's see, well, Zumeral. And I've actually tried that. It actually works. A Zumeral and Starmie, two water type Pokemon. Keep, and this is a pretty good idea. Keep a Politoed in your party. Don't use it and you'll trick your opponent. So, guys, that's all I got for you. But next episode, don't know what it'll be, but I'll let you know as soon as it comes next time. That should be the